Chinese military drills continue in the Taiwan Strait in retaliation for U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the self-governed territory earlier this week. The exercises have had the unexpected effect of drawing tourists to the Chinese coast, but have raised diplomatic tensions in the region. It's feared they're intended to advertise China's capabilities to seize Taiwan, and Taiwanese jets have also been taking off as a show of its defence capabilities. The government urging China to focus on taking care of its own people and stop the provocation. China is an evil neighbour, showing its military power at the gate of our country, using military exercises to destroy the busiest lanes of international shipping. China's action has received condemnation from neighbouring countries and the world. But China has said it's received support from a number of nations and called on the world to support the One China policy. However, speaking on the final stop of her Asian tour, Nancy Pelosi said they will not be intimidated. They may try to keep Taiwan from visiting or participating in other places, but they will not isolate Taiwan by preventing us to travel there. It's a sentiment backed by the White House. There is no justification for this extreme, disproportionate and escalatory military response. Let me say again that nothing has changed about our One China policy. We don't want unilateral changes to the status quo from either side. The U.S. Secretary of State was speaking at a meeting of Asian foreign ministers, including China's, in the Cambodian capital today. Every year, we have our set of challenges to address, but I have to say that never before, not like this year, have we been confronted with so many perils at the same time. The Cambodian foreign minister also saying the issues affect every nation and calling on them to work together to resolve them. Nicole Gernon, Virgin Media News.